What's going on? I'm Pool Noodle X, and this is the four bosses in the Siege of Ulduar in about three minutes. Starting with Flame Leviathan. To begin normal mode, talk to Bran. This will activate all the siege vehicles. You don't need more than one bike on either mode in my opinion, as it's only used to slow the boss for kiting. So get as many demolishers with one additional passenger as you can, as well as one to two siege engines on 10, and two to three on 25 man. Start making your way through, killing these pillars along the way so they stop summoning the hundreds of adds that are out there. Along the way, you'll find four towers to destroy because they buff the boss, and they look like this. They're located here, 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 and here. Once finished, kill these giant guards in front of the gate to summon the boss forth. The actual boss fight is kind of a pushover. It fixates on one target and chases them down until it finds a new target. If you are the target, just kite it in a big oval around the field. The siege tank's main job is to interrupt flame vents, while the demolishers slam their pyrite barrel button until it breaks, and any bikers in the group can lay tar to slow the boss. The gunners in the demos can shoot down pyrite barrels from the air and hook them in to replenish their driver's resource to keep the boss burning. After flame lev, hang a left to fight Ignis. This fight is all about mechanics and battlefield control, and it's pretty much the same for 10 and 25 man with no hard mode. To start, you'll want your main tank to bring the boss over to one of the pools in the room. The boss uses Scorch in a frontal cone that leaves a huge no-no spot on the ground. When tanked in or next to the water, the Scorch does not leave a no-no circle on the ground. There are constructs that come out that cannot be killed unless they're pulled into a Scorch to bake, and then brought into the water once they're molten. So you will need a Scorch on the ground here and there. You then have to hit the adds hard enough for them to shatter. The boss's two other abilities are Slag Pot, where he locks somebody in his pot who will need constant healing to stay alive and then Flame Jets, which when cast, knocks everyone up and interrupts any casting for six seconds, so don't be casting when this is coming. Next up is Razor Scale, which starts out as a gauntlet full of adds. There isn't a hard mode, and it's similar for both 10 and 25 raids. It's recommended that you have two tanks for the fight, as adds can end up bursting one tank down super quickly. The caster adds can be interrupted, so your main focus should be on the big guys who have a huge whirlwind which will wipe your melee. As the fight goes on, fire will rain down from above, and the harpoons behind you will get ready. Fire two for 10 man and four for 25 man to bring the boss to the ground. She'll be stunned for about 20 seconds before fire breathing in front of her and flying back up unless you get her below 50% HP, which initiates phase two. She'll stack a fuse armor debuff on the tank, which is why you'll need two tanks, as well as a flame buffet on everyone else. Both tanks should kite her out of the fire, and this is where I'd recommend popping lust. Lastly, we have XT Deconstructor. This one does have a hard mode, and I'll cover that in the future. Your main tank holds the boss in the back middle with your melee DPS on it. A few streams of bots will begin flowing out of the junk piles that your ranged DPS should be ready for. There's a walking bomb that blows up on death, a little bot that heals XT if it gets within range, and these big melee AoE bots that your off tank will want to pick up. The boss itself will cast two forms of a 10 yard radius living bomb and a huge damage AoE every 60 seconds called Tantrum. Every 25% the boss will power down for a moment and spit out its heart, which you then focus all of your firepower into. All damage done is converted to the main boss and doubled when the heart goes back in. Killing the heart, however, initiates heart mode, but otherwise rinse and repeat, and that's it. For the next set of bosses, click here. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, follow, and join.